There's so many aspects to creating your reality, right? To getting what it is that you want, to feeling better in life, and to accessing that intuition of yours. I mean, that's why I am here. <laughs> Hello everyone, how's your heart? How you doing? I'm Terry. it's so nice to meet you. If you're new, welcome. Welcome, welcome, I hope you enjoy this. And if you're old, I don't mean that you're old, but if you've been here for a while and we've been connecting and engaging, welcome back, welcome back. So it's so nice to see you guys. I wanted to talk to you today a bit about harnessing energy. Ooh, yes. Let's make it easy. Let's not make this difficult, right? So there's so many aspects to creating your reality, right? To getting what it is that you want, to feeling better in life, and to accessing that intuition of yours. I mean, that's why I am here. I'm here to help you get into that intuition of yours. Everybody has it. There are so many ways to do it, right? I wanna give you, I wanna show you a little tip, a little trick, a little tool to how to help you focus. Because whenever we're dealing with any kind of energy work, whether we wanna heal, we wanna bring in relationships, we wanna bring in money, we wanna um, change our career, we just want to get out of anxiety. We, whatever it is that we want to do, we have to focus on something, right? And if we're not focused, we're leaking our energy all over the place. So what I want to do is I want to show you how, a pretty cool, fun way, how we can go ahead and focus that energy, harness it with some fun. We're going to do it through sigils. Ooh, ah, what is a sigil? Good question. A sigil is typically used in some sort of witchcraft. Okay, so it's uh, witchy woo. <laughs> um, it's woo woo, but there's science behind it in that it uh, the energy um, gets collected. Okay, and then so we're bringing those energetic particles together, and then we set it aside, right? So that it can come into fruition. We don't focus and place our awareness and our attention on it. We don't put it on a pedestal as if it's bigger and stronger than we are. We gather it with intention. We set it aside and we take action, physical action to bring it, uh, to be in the energetic frequencies of bringing whatever it is that we want to us, okay? So that's how, that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do it through symbolism. So a sigil is a symbol that represents energy. And when we are going to be focusing on something, we're gonna be focusing on that sigil, right? Which is going to represent everything that we want to draw into us, which frequencies that we wanna draw into us, okay? And we're gonna do this, I'm gonna do this for you by showing you how um, we can do this, how we are gonna create the sigil with feelings. Feelings, guys, feelings, because feelings are energy right? And everything is energy, everything, every single thing. And if you're going to use your intuition, okay, if you're going to use your intuition to get anything in life, to get you further in life, that means you're going to have to read the energy off of everything and anything. And the only way you can do that is by getting yourself into energetic alignment. All right. So I'm going to show you what to do. Um, and let's do this. Uh, here we go. Okay guys, so for this, all you're gonna need is a pen and paper. So this is not an economically expensive uh, thing to do. Pretty cool, that's exciting. This doesn't have to cost you anything. You probably, most people already have pen and paper, okay? So we're gonna wanna come up with a symbol that's going to represent something. So let's make this easy for this sake. Again, this is just, this is gonna be very general. If you need something specific, we can work on this one-on-one -on -one through my Shift Happens program. But for right now, we're gonna say uh, you wanna bring in more money, okay? Let's say you wanna draw in more money in your life, right? So, sorry, this is how I write, whatever. Right, so you have money, that's what you want. So that's your desire, money. What is your intention, right? Your intention 
is usually the action that you're gonna, or the reason why you want it. So like, I want money, why do I want money? Because I want to, um, I want to donate, I wanna make donations, right? So this is my intention, right? My intention is to have money, That's because I want money and I want to be able to donate money to, I don't know, to animal charities, right? So this is our intention, right? So what are some of the things? Okay, so we have this here so far, right? Now we're gonna work on feelings. We're not working on things. So please understand that the way we are gonna do this, the tip for this particular um, sigil is going to be uh, how we feel about things, not the fact that we want the things, okay? So if we had money, how would we feel if we had money? I'm just gonna tell you my feelings as just an example. My first one would be freedom. I would feel fucking free as fuck, right? I would feel unlimited, limited, right? I would also feel, what else would I feel? I would feel happy. I would feel excited. Oh my God, I would feel abundant. I would feel um, joy. I would feel, um, um, what's that word? Generous. I would feel so generous because I, like, I would be buying things for my friends, taking them on vacations. What else would I feel? I would feel um, freedom and love. I don't know, what else? What else would I feel, you guys? There's so many things, like I'm totally blanking out now. I would feel complete. Oh, I'd feel whole. I would feel um, proactive. Now, for me, what I mean by that is like, I'd be able to do things before I needed to do them. So for example, like I could get massages, you know, if I was really stressed out before my back would start to hurt, right? So for me, it's like I would be proactive from things, you know, oh, I would be totally involved. I've had so much self-care, right? Um, I would have, I would, I would be carefree, right? I would be stress-free, right? Which again, to me, ties in with freedom and unlimitedness but I'm about freedom and unlimitedness anyways. So anyways, let's just say this is our list, right? Can you guys see that? All right, so this is our list, yes? So this is what we wanna feel. This is ultimately what we're going for. This is our goal here, right? We want this and our intention is to be able to donate to animal charities. I'm sure the intention are also these things, right? To have freedom, to, to feel unlimited, to be happy, excited, to feel abundant, to feel joy, to feel generosity, to feel completeness, wholeness, proactiveness, self-care, carefree, stress-free. And I know that there's more that I could totally write out, but I just don't, I, right now I'm blocked because I'm just trying to show this to you, right? So let's just say, that all of these things are gonna be represented by a symbol, okay? And that is our sigil. So the symbol, let's make this easy. Again, let's not make this hard. Let's make it M for money, right? M, that's it. And all of these things are gonna to point to the M, right? So we're gonna know, we're gonna know that M, this symbol of M, right? And I'm writing it over and over and over again just to get my subconscious mind in alignment with my feelings. That M, which means money for me and represents how I'd feel, is my symbol, right? So this is now what I am going to focus on, just M. So each and every time I write out the word, or the, the word, the letter M, or I say the letter M, <laughs> it is now going to mean all of this for me. So in just this 
letter here I have attached to it energetic frequencies that that are these these are the energetic frequencies so when now when I place my awareness and my intention on M this is what I am aligning myself to as long as my emotions are balanced and regulated this is what um, I'm I'm doing okay so this is the sigil right here M this is the symbol that represents this now when you see a lot of witchcraft and stuff they'll do like a whole bunch of symbols and just like all of these things and that's their creativity that's their intuition that's their um you know that's them coming through with things and and eventually what happens is you create your own but again i'm just showing you this as a tip so now this is this is your symbol and this represents all of this so when you're doing your energy work when you're doing your grid work when you're doing your witchcraft when you're doing your reality manifestation this is your focus this is your focus but remember um you got to do it carefully okay so what do i mean by carefully because i just said you got to do this work carefully right what do i mean carefully what i mean carefully is that you don't actually activate the law of repulsion when you do it and you do it with harm to none like you have no intention of hurting anybody else or anybody else getting you know uh their come up and let karma take care of them you don't have to be part of that right because again that's energy it's attention it's thought right so you don't want to activate the law of repulsion you really want to just sort of let it be just let it be don't even don't even think about it too much but you got to still be part of the process and this is part of the process there's so much that goes on here but this is all going to help you activate various frequencies and when your frequencies are activated it means you're able to read energy it means you're able to sense energy using your five physical senses so hopefully you were able to get a little something about out of this right a little little something out of this if you did like this video at all if you learned anything please go ahead and click that like button so other people can see this video as well and um you know this is a lovely way to actually stay connected to yourself and your energy because it can actually serve as a reminder like if i think too much about it if i put too much attention on it i'm activating law of repulsion and the more the money is going to go away even though i want it to come to me so there is this nice, easy, delicate balance of when I give it my attention and when I don't. So if you wanna learn that, I can help you with that. You can work with me one-on-one -on -one and we can go ahead and do that all while accessing that beautiful intuition of yours. And it's really mainly done through balancing your anxiety, believe it or not. So anyways, if this is something that you are interested in, um, you know, hit me up people but in the meantime just stay connected right i'm always saying stay connected i don't care if it's staying connected to the sigil work whether it's staying connected to your friends and family staying connected to yourself it doesn't matter just stay connected humans are wired for connection and i'll see ya on the flip side